Good morning, guys. It's nine o'clock in the morning. I woke up super late today. So if you remember from last episode, we were supposed to head over to Sebi's house yesterday to finish the cutting board, but we couldn't because there was a massive snowstorm. Originally, we had rescheduled to finish the cutting board today, but the thing is there's so much snow still on the ground that my car is still stuck in the driveway. So in terms of finishing up the cutting board, we're gonna have to give that another shot tomorrow. Another reason the snow is so annoying, I was supposed to host my band today at my house. They were all supposed to come over and we were supposed to chill. Because of the snowstorm yesterday, they weren't able to practice for their acoustic set. Now they have to reschedule that practice for tonight and they're not gonna be able to make it. So that's a double damper on today. Still gonna be an awesome day. So a quick recap from yesterday. Today will be my fifth day in a row without a cigarette, which is absolutely insane. I can't even remember a time where I went five straight days without a cigarette. This is ridiculous. I'm super stoked about it, and I haven't breathed this well in, is it breathed? Breathed? I haven't breathed this well in quite some time. I'm in like hardcore vacation mode right now, so I really don't feel like doing my full workout until later in the day. But you know what time it is, guys. It's first thing in the morning, so we got 25 push ups. Let's do this. Every time I go down, I might have to throw down. Whisper in my ear, and I'm gonna keep it on the low down, low down. Guys, push-ups were on point as always. We love doing those morning push-ups and getting in the right mindset for the rest of the day. Now I'm gonna just take a shower, run some errands around the house, maybe clean some stuff up, and then I'll get a smoothie in me. And after all that's done, I'll do my full workout and we'll put that on the vlog. Let's do this, guys. For the past couple days, we've been going with the mango papaya, but today we got the mango passion fruit and it is absolute fire. Definitely using this blend many more times. So yesterday I was a total burnout and I passed out when the mail got delivered and I'm expecting a couple packages. So let's take a quick trip downstairs and see if we got any mail from yesterday. Let's do this. What do we got here? What do we got here? Uh, nothing important. Guys, it looks like they did a great job plowing the roads. So maybe we could check the car later and see if it's working out. The roads look pretty drivable, although there is a ton of snow on the ground. It's just a winter wonderland out here. Definitely get back inside before I freeze to death. I'm super excited today. It's a very big day for me. Today is the first day where I'm going to dedicate myself to consistently have a diet that consists only of fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, legumes, water, tea, and multivitamins. Something that I really want to do for the rest of my life, but I'm going to try it out for one month just to see if I can handle it. We're stoked to see what kind of changes it's going to have on my body and what kind of positivity it's going to bring me as a whole. So let's do this, guys. Taking the one a day uh, multivitamin that has a bunch of different vitamins, A through K, uh, all your B vitamins, of course. It's got zinc, potassium. It's really good. Uh, try them out if you haven't tried them out before. I just cleaned my room. It's looking super clean. Oh yeah, man. Oh, that drum kit is looking super sexy. Well, guys, my room is clean. I've got a smoothie in me and I'm feeling like it's time for me to do my workout. So I'm gonna go with my cardio routine first and then after that, I'm gonna hit on the bike. Let's do this. <laughs> Finished another 45 minute round on the bike. Yes! I'm feeling totally pumped up right now. That was absolutely amazing. I just feel the blood flowing. I feel the calories burning. I feel energized. My lungs feel great. I'm breathing well. I'm nice and hot and sweaty. It's great. That wore me out. I need to shower and get a smoothie in me and then I need to relax. Guys, Dave is leaving to go over to our friend AJ's house, so I'm gonna be home alone for the rest of the day. I'm so happy that I'm gonna be home alone. I can't believe you're leaving, I'm so grateful. Oh, I feel so bad. Yeah, you should feel bad. Now get out of here. Put on your boots and don't come back. Just don't. Before Dave got down the stairs, he told me that I had a package, so let's open this baby. Let's do this. <laughs> Guys, this is absolutely hilarious. So if you've been watching my videos, you know that I've been a smoker for the past, wow, I guess it's been like 17 years. I'm 26, I started smoking when I was 16, wow, that's 10 years. I'm 
honestly so horrible at math. My apologies. But one of the things that I did was I ordered this ashtray when I was still a smoker back in 2017, and it looks really awesome. It looks like this Rastafarian dude smoking a, uh, a well, a cigarette. Now that I don't smoke cigarettes anymore, I guess I'm gonna have to find one of my friends who does to gift that to them. Or I could just keep it kind of as like a statue, but I feel like if I have an ashtray around the house, it might tempt me to smoke a cigarette. So I don't think I wanna do that. I think what I'm gonna do is give it to Dave as a surprise when he gets home. He's gonna freak out. Dave doesn't smoke cigarettes, but it's a really cool ashtray and I really think he'll enjoy it. Right now I'm really living that broke life. I think it would be hilarious to show you guys just what's in my fridge. Everything in this fridge, Everything in this fridge is Dave's, except for that orange, those apples, that yogurt, and the seltzers, which are, yeah, these are empty, so let's get those out of there. Up in the freezer, we've got the uh, frozen fruit for me. Oh my god, I need to wipe that. Everything else is Dave's. That's literally all I'm working with. I think by the end of it, I'm going to like turn into a fruit. So my band, Grolix, it, it's really weird saying my band, Grolix. It's really more of an our thing. It's not something that's mine. It's not something that's Cisco's or Rob's or Josh's or Kelsey's. It's our thing. So I'm going to say our band from now on. So our band, Grolix, is performing at Cafe 9 in New Haven on February 1st. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take about 45 minutes and I'm going to rehearse the set on my drum kit so that I have it down for the show on February 1st. I have to make sure that when the band's not practicing that I'm keeping up on my chops on the kit. Let's do this, guys. I did something a little different with my late day snack smoothie. I took some of the frozen passion fruit from Goya and I put that in the blender and then I also put some chopped up apples and some fresh squeezed orange juice with some water. It's gonna taste delicious. It turned almost like a yellowy color. Oh, I mean, I guess the apples are like kind of greenish yellow. Oh, it's like a citrus overload. The orange and the passion fruit definitely takes over and that's what creates this very sour, like, tart flavor. Guys, so even though we had that one package from earlier, my normal mail comes at 4 o'clock, which is about 7 minutes ago. It should be down there, and I'm expecting more packages, so why don't we take one quick trip down there one more time just to see what we got. If not, I'm giving up for the day and I'll just check again tomorrow. I don't wanna see you Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, damn it. God, it's never here. All right, let's get back upstairs. I'm gonna freeze. With Dave gone in the house to myself, I think it's a really good time for me to just catch up on some personal time and to just relax. Honestly, despite all the sleep and all the rest that I've been getting, I am really wiped out. I worked an entire year at my job without any vacation days, so I took this January to just take a nice long vacation and relax from all that hard work I've been doing for an entire year. It's no joke working at a lumberyard, especially the one that I'm at. It's very busy. I'm probably just going to hit the snooze button, but I'll catch you guys when I wake up. Peace. What's up guys? So that nap kind of turned into a full-on sleep session. I woke up and it's already 2 a.m. So it looks like I pretty much wasted my evening. But no big deal. Before I sign off for the night, I just wanted to give a huge thank you to all the people that support me through my Fat to Fit to journey. Thank you so much for your continued support and thanks so much to everyone who helps me film this vlog. It's mostly just me, but there's some people that help me too. I wanna to give a special shout out to our featured artists for the day. Of course, Grolix and Marbar and Basic, who is now Tyler Lavander. I got some of their music in there too. I'll link them down in the description below. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna get those push-ups done. Hopefully the snow will have subsided by that point and we can head down to Sebastian's house and fitting the cutting board. I really wanna make sure I get that done for my friend Lauren as soon as possible because she's supposed to be come visit me in the next 10 days or so. I also want to say guys, thank you so much for your continued support, watching all my videos, supporting me on Facebook, supporting me on Patreon. I'll link all those things down in the description below. Please, if you have a second, please take the time to like me on Facebook and consider backing me on Patreon if you like what I'm doing. 
It will really help me to bring you this amazing content. Okay, so from Danbury, Connecticut on January 5th, I guess it's the 6th now. I just want to say this is Fat to Fit Dude. It's been amazing shooting today's video, and I am signing out for the day. Thank you so much, and good night.